<laughs> I've had to bring it down from where I started, which was possibly 60 to 80, simply because it being an oil sketch and quite late, I thought maybe I ought to be a little bit cautious. But I can see this picture because it's so attractive, um, driving its price up to uh, more than 80,000. It's a possibility. That's wonderful news. Well, a memorable roadshow here in Northern Ireland. It doesn't really matter whether one's talking about the pictures or the furniture or that fine Spo dinner service that Lars had earlier. So many things of great quality during our day here in Colrain, so our thanks to everyone who came along. I hope you'll join us for another Antiques Roadshow next week, and until then, from all of us here in Northern Ireland, goodbye. BBC Two Sunday Night Art Zone begins in a few moments. Here on BBC One, from comedy to drama, he's one of our finest actors. Richard Bryars, A Good Life, is next. Online has a complete antiques guide at www.bbc.co.uk slash home and garden. Winter's gone. Spring is here. Gardener's World. Fridays at 8.30 on BBC Two. A safe haven. Or a troubled town. Well, look what I found. You're right. Nick Berry. In Harbour Lights. Why would he want to help us? Because I want to trade. I fly you two out the country, but Melanie and Charlie stay. A new series starts Easter Monday at 8.30 on BBC One. With more than his love life falling apart around him, headaches for the Monarch of the Glen in half an hour here on BBC One, after a tribute to one of the stars of the series. recognize him with a sort of familiarity as if he is uh, a member of the family. You should say I'm this frightf frightfully sorry old boy. You say frightfully a lot. Sometimes I think his teeth might come out because he speaks so fast and I think he does too. <laughs> okay sweetheart, nobody moves. <laughs> to describe oneself is pretty difficult because uh, as you go through 42 years of acting you become kind of all different kinds of people. How do you do? How do you do sir? Hello Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Sally. I want the world to know. What a ridiculous idea. <laughs> it's a great education.